Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Lily Sabri here. You guys know what you're here for. We are on today 19 of the 30 day fitness challenge. Way over, way over halfway now guys. Like I like to think we're coming to the top of the hill and we're just gonna kind of roll our way down. I would love to say that it's gonna get easier. Mm, I mean, you might be getting used to it, but it's certainly not gonna get easier. One thing I do wanna say, guys, as you know, I wasn't feeling very well yesterday. So yesterday's workout was a little bit lower intensity and also shorter than the normal 30 minutes. I am feeling so much better today, so thank you so much for all of your messages on Instagram, also on the comments down below. I've read and replied to all of them, and I massively appreciate it. I just wanna say, guys, if you are having a down day, if you're having a day where you're body feels tight, if your body feels particularly sore, and you know that it's because you're overtraining, because you have fatigue, you're not sleeping very well, please take a day off. There is such thing as overtraining. One of the lovely ladies that is following me here on YouTube actually said to me, can I put together a little bit of talking, maybe a vlog about overtraining, how to recognize when we are overtraining, and that's something I'll certainly do. But for now, in terms of the 30 days, please, take breaks if you need them. This doesn't have to be consecutively, okay? If you can, as close together as possible, it is only 30 minutes a day, but at the same time, I can't express to you how much I want you to listen to your body. It's so important, okay? Your body gives you signs of what it needs. If it's saying it needs a break, take it, okay? So important. 30 minutes, as per. People say to me all the time, is that all you do in the day? Yes. This is all I've been doing, 30 minutes per day. Sometimes I'm teaching classes as well. There has been the odd occasion where the camera hasn't recorded, as you guys know, which means I've had to do the workout twice. Absolute nightmare. I do not recommend it, okay? If you are super fit and you feel like you can, of course, go ahead. But for me, 30 minutes a day is more than enough to get the results that I want, okay? So today is all about getting lean. It's all about sculpting into the body. It is a total body workout. It's not a fat burner, but it is hips. So we're sculpting today. We're actually doing 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. I do want you to grab your weights and your resistance band and we're gonna get going guys, okay? So 40 seconds. First one is just an overhead squat to warm up pretty much all of the body. Lifting the arms up over the head, working into the thoracic spine, which is the mid spine, where most of us feel our tension, feel the tightness, I should say. Okay, we're nearly halfway. Tracking those knees over the middle toes and breathing. Incredible work, guys. You've got 15 seconds left. Really good. Concentrating on your form. Your legs should be a little bit sore from yesterday, I hope. <laughs> well done, guys. Just five seconds left. Two, one, and recover. I'm just gonna turn this up a little bit. Okay, so next one, we're gonna be doing a deep squat, fingertips by temples, and then crunching into the obliques, okay? We're gonna start introducing the weight after this exercise, we're going in five seconds. Shake out the body, there it is. One, let's go, nice low squat. So 40 seconds only versus the 45 we normally do. And that is because we're not necessarily going into fat burn so much today. We're sculpting and we're gonna be using resistance combined with hit. Three, two, one, changing sides, let's go. This is one of my favorite workouts, this one. It really gets results. Crunching across. The reason why I love combining all of these different types of workouts is that we're working different types of muscle groups in the body, okay? Lying down onto your back now, just warming into the hips and the glutes. We're gonna open the knees apart, and we're gonna lift the pelvis up to the sky. Relax the body, breathe. Good, two, one, up we come, okay? This is the last one without the weight. We're gonna add the weight in just after this. We're just working into loosening off the joints, preparing the ligaments, the muscles, the joints for exercise. Well done, guys. Really good work. If you can, taking the arms up and over, Lowering just halfway down, 
Squeezing those butt muscles. Good work. Core's really nice and tight. One. And lower down, amazing. Okay, from there, I want you to grab your weights just behind your head, just one of them, and we're gonna go with a sit-up, an overhead sit-up, okay? So reaching up, pumping up to the sky, and rolling back down again. Two, one, imprint that spine, pull the stomach muscles in, and slow and controlled, back down again. Lower back, mid back, upper back. So now we've pretty much worked into all of the muscle groups, warm them up, we're doing abs now, we've got arms and upper body next, then we're repeating but upping the intensity, okay? Amazing work. And we're done, incredible. Coming up now into a plank, guys. We're gonna be doing a row in the plank position. We've done it before, you're holding in a full plank. One arm is on the weight, and you're gonna row, okay? Going in five seconds, start getting yourselves ready in that plank position. Two, one, nice and stable. Rowing up and back. If you need to drop down onto the knees, Absolutely fine, okay? I really want you to pace yourself with this exercise. It's harder than it looks. It is really gonna work into not only the arms, the core, but also the back. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and changing sides. Now, if you're like me and a little bit sore in the wrist, drop down onto the knees. If you can, you can come up into the full plank, okay? Good work. Five seconds. Amazing, so we're coming up into standing now, round two. We're going with a goblet squat this time. Feet nice and wide, holding onto one or two weights, sinking low, pulsating, two, one, and up. You wanna keep those knees really nice and wide as you do this, okay? Pulsate, two, one, and up. Chest proud and open, two, one, good work. Just 15 seconds left. Keeping that chest open. If you can, keep looking forward. Good work, guys. Just five seconds left. One, last one. Two, one, and up. Grab a hold of the other weight for me. We are now going with a reverse lunge, okay? Standing at the top of your mat, chest proud and open. You're gonna go with a reverse lunge, Pulsate for five, change sides. Two, one, down we come. One, two, three, four, and five. Back. Good work. Good, really keeping it moving with consistency, but also making sure that your form is on point. Chest proud and open, knee tracking over the middle toe. Good work. One more set each side. Four and five. Finish it up for me. One, two, three, four and five. Amazing. Coming down onto the mat now, you're going to place the weight onto the pelvis, okay? From there, we're gonna come up into a normal bridge, this time digging the heels in, toes up. Flatten that spine into the mat. Come on up into a bridge. Don't let that ribcage flare and lower back arch. Tuck under, squeeze that core tight. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, pump up. Keeping that ribcage down for me. Keep squeezing those glutes. Keep pulling the core in nice and tight. Good work. We can do it. This is number three of five. We've got this. Keep pumping. Okay, now open and close. All the way home. Amazing. We are now going with that sit-up with the weight, okay? However, there's going to be a little bit of a hold in there. 
Breathe it out. Have a moment. Get yourself ready. Okay. Flatten that back into the mat. Stomach muscles in. Let's go. Good work. Really good. Again, making sure that that lower back is touching the mat first. Really good work, guys. Using that breathing control. Okay, lengthen the legs out. Roll back to your biting point. Hold for the last five seconds, a little bit lower. Two, one. Woo, well done, guys. Coming into the plank again. Coming forward for me. Okay, from here, we're gonna be going with a seesaw this time. So we're on the forearm, fingers interlocked, and we're gonna seesaw the weight back and forth. Okay, I'll be done. One, let's go. Shifting forward and back. Now this really works into the shoulders. I love this exercise. Don't give up. You've done this for 45 with me before, okay? So no one's giving up. If you need to, drop down onto the knees, no worries but keep pushing. Pull that core in nice and tight. 20 seconds. Good work. If you feel the lower back's hurting, drop down onto the knees, have a little wiggle. Okay, readjust, come back in again. The lower back will be hurting just because the core isn't active enough, not quite strong enough. Two, one. Amazing guys, that is circuit one complete. We are going in on circuit two, but we're upping the ante, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, get you ready. Circuit two is legs and abs only. So I need you to grab your band, pop your band around your ankles. This circuit is quite a bit harder than the first one, okay? Can't say I haven't warned you. Pop the band on, also grab a weight for me, and we're gonna start off just with a side lunge with pulsation. Weight comes into the chest, one, two, three, and center. One, two, three, and center. So try and get a really nice rhythm with it. Keep it fast. One, two, three, center. Sinking nice and low. Three, center, good. So it's three legs and glutes exercises, two abs, and center, good. Two, three, center. Just 10 seconds left. Good work. Can we fit one more on each side? Two, three, one more. One, two, three, and up we come, well done. Okay, into abs now. We are going with a set of hundreds. Pop the weight down. This time we have the hundreds. We've resisted abduction, okay? Legs are up, open out, up we come. Breathe. Good work. Breath in, two, three, four, five. Breath out, two, three, four, five. Really breathing through that core. Keeping those legs nice and wide for me. Don't give up, guys, you've got this. Lower back's flat. Good work, just 20 seconds left. Keep that core nice and tight for me. Keep that back in imprint. You can do it. 10 seconds left, come on, we've got this. Two, one, and up. Keep the band on. We're going back into legs now. You've done this one with me before. It's a jump across with pulsation. Okay, just moving this out of the way. Don't get any broken ankles. One, double pulsation, jump across. Now, as I've said to you guys before, my workouts are for everyone. So if you need to make it a little bit easier, what I want you to do is just go with a side walk, okay? Coming across, if you can, sinking down low as you do that. All the way through. If you can keep jumping, do. I just want you to keep moving, okay? Just 20 seconds left. Really pushing out against that band. If you can, it's that jump across. One, two. One, two, good. Just 10 seconds left. 
Good work. Two, one, and we're done. Down now into lying. We have the weirdest weather going on in Dubai here. Take the band off. There was a storm yesterday, and now it's super dark. You may have noticed on the camera, very weird weather. Okay, from here, we're going with an oblique sit-up, reaching towards the opposite knee, and back. If you can't get all the way up with this, it really doesn't matter, guys. You just go as far as you can, hitting into those obliques, okay? Obviously, if you can sit up, incredible. If not, going as high as you can. Ten seconds. Two, one, and we're done. Amazing. Up into sitting, guys. Grab one weight only, and we're going for that goblet squat again. This time, five pulsations. Nice and low, feet wide, knees wide. Let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. Up we come. One, two, keep those knees wide, chest open. And five, up. Good. I may have to turn that light on in a second because I feel like it's getting very dark here. Crazy, it never ever rains in Dubai. And yesterday, out of nowhere, there was a storm. Oh yes, if you can turn it on. Good, keep going guys. So there's a button at the top. Four, five, and up. 10 seconds, two, three, four, five, and up, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Doesn't that burn? Okay, quickly turn the light on. Yay! Okay, so going into round two, I want you to pop the band back on again, okay? We are officially halfway, guys. Keep pushing for me, okay? So the band is on. I also want you to grab your weight, and we've got those side lunges in nice and tight with that weight. Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, Center, one, two, three, center, good work. Two, three, keep those knees nice and wide for me. Keep that butt low if you can. Come on, let's really work into the hips, the glutes, also the adductors and abductors, inner and outer thighs. Good work. Two, three, and up. Now we're just gonna go all the way home with a normal side lunge up in the ante. 12 seconds. Good work. Come on, all the way through. Five seconds. One more each side if you can. God, I'm a slave driver. Yay, okay. Down now onto the mat. We have another set of hundreds with abduction, meaning we're pushing out against that back. Get yourselves ready. Legs are coming up. Okay, push out against the band and puff. You can do it, guys. Breathing in for five. And breathing out for five. Now, anyone wanting to make this harder, you can straighten the legs out, okay? Just make sure that that core stays tight and the lower back stays flat. So important, beginners or anyone who's struggling a little bit today, which is absolutely fine, pop the legs down, you will still work the core. Keep that eye gaze forward in between the thighs, okay? Push out against that band. Hold the head if you need to. Pull that core in tight. Five seconds, guys. Two, one, and we're done, amazing. So with all of these, if you have the band on, the key is to push out against that band, okay? We're gonna jump half of this. We're gonna step half of it together. Two, one, double pulsation, and across. 20 seconds, then we're stepping, come on. I'd love to say that the stepping's a lot easier. To be honest, if anything, I think it's harder. 15 seconds, guys. Good. Just under 10 seconds left of this. Come on, power. Three, two, and one. Amazing, quick shake out of the legs. Okay, down we come, side stepping. Good. 
Come on, all the way. Really push out against that band now. 10 seconds. Keep pushing. Two, one, woo! Okay, down onto the mat. Really quickly take that band off because we have more abs to do, okay? This time, I want you up in sitting. I want you to grab your weight, bring your weight into your chest, and roll back. Okay, we're there. If you're at your biting point, the feet are gently resting, gently being the one, okay? Breathe it out. Good work. Okay, if anyone can, hover the legs. Hold, hold. Good work. If you need to place them back down, I don't blame you, just breathe through it, okay? 20 seconds. Now we're gonna rush and twist home. Really hitting into those obliques now, okay? Breathing it out. I forgot to tell you, tomorrow's recovery day. So it's worth pushing, guys, trust me. It's really worth pushing. Two, one, woo! Well done. Last one is the goblet squat. Shake those legs out. Come on, give me that last little bit of leg energy for me, okay? Last round is abs and arms. Okay, legs wide. Let's go. Three, two, one, and up. So this time it's just three pulsations versus five. Keep going. Anyone wanting to make it harder, kettlebells are great. If not, both dumbbells. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. 20 seconds, guys. Making sure that that head isn't up, okay? Looking forward or if anything, slightly down. Keep pushing. 10 seconds left. Knees wide. Chest open. Three seconds. Three, two, one, and up. Amazing. Circuit two complete. One left, guys, okay? This one is all about the abs, the core, the abs, and the arms and shoulders, okay? We can do it. You have 30 seconds recovery. Breathe, relax, enjoy it. Keep your weights close, okay? We're going in 10 seconds. Grab your weights. We're gonna start off with the bicep curl, but into that W. Going in three, in two. Okay, elbows tucked in close to the chest. Into the side, I should say, chest proud and open. We're coming up into the bicep curl, slowly lowering eccentrically, come round into a W. Good. Now, a lot of people undervalue the lowering phase of, to be honest, most exercises. Your muscles are still working on the way down, eccentrically. They are lengthening under tension, which is actually where most of the DOMS kicks in, eccentrically. Keep going, guys. 13 seconds. Now, the core has to be really tight for this. Please don't overarch that back. Good. Just five seconds left. Two, one. Woo, well done, we're going straight into triceps now, okay? So the weight is coming behind the back of the head, the core is tight, no overarching and flaring of the rib cage. We're in tight, okay? Going in three seconds, one, let's go. We're coming up again, remember, the lowering down is still working the muscles. It's working them a lot. Keep that core tight, really engage those abs, those deep core muscles. Good work, guys and breathe. You're lucky you're not talking through the whole thing, so please use that breathing control. We can do it. 20 seconds left, you've got this guys. Lowering all the way down the back for me, come on. 15 seconds, I know you can do it. Good, we have two abs, one arm exercise left, five seconds. Last three, two, one, and we're done. Down into abs for me, okay? We are going to toe reaches now. You have two levels. Bearing in mind, you only have seven minutes left of exercise. Eight minutes, actually. That wasn't very nice, okay? Legs up, reaching for the toes, and back down. If you want to make it a little bit easier, get rid of the weight for me, and reach there. A little bit easier still, particularly if you have tight hamstrings, Reach for the knees. 
You still have 30 seconds left. Dig deep for me, guys. Come on, I really want these abs popping. You can do it. You have all commented, literally all of you, on the differences that you've seen in your body. And a lot of you have particularly pointed out the abs. So keep digging deep, you know it works. Woo! Okay, we are going on to flies next. Now, 5 kg on flies for me is pretty heavy. I know most of you have lighter than the 5 kgs, so dig deep for me if you need to take breaks, do. We've done this before. Slight bend in the elbows, out to the side. You want as minimal sway through that back. The core is really tight, okay? We can do it. We're getting those sexy shoulders. Ladies, as I've said to you before, this is perfect for sculpting into the hourglass shape, okay? Never neglect the shoulders. Good work, 10 seconds. We can do it. Three, two, woo! In case you haven't noticed, I can't really talk through those. Those weights are heavy, okay? We're gonna roll back to our fighting point again with the weight, with the knees bent. Okay, back we come. All righty, this time we're lifting both legs up. Everyone is trying. If you want to go slightly lower, you can drop down onto the forearms just to give that lower back a bit of a rest, okay? Still works the core. Okay, in five seconds, we're going to go for single leg stretch. We're seeing it all the way home. Let's go, straighten and in. Now you can pop those arms behind you if you need to. This is really quite challenging what I'm doing here. So work with what works for your body, okay? Arms behind you if you need the breathe. Five seconds. Woo, okay, we are going back into exercise one. Biceps, okay? Shake those shoulders out. You have five seconds, core tight. No flaring of the rib cage, okay? In we go. Five minutes left of exercise. We can all do this together, okay? We're actually gonna make it a little bit harder for this last round because I'm really kind like that, okay? 30 seconds, digging in nice and deep. Good work, guys. Okay, anyone struggling, I just want you to hold your arms out in front of you. You wanna make it a little bit easier and just pump up there. This is a lot harder than it looks, okay? It starts off all right and it does get harder. Make it harder, still arms come out to the side. Keep digging deep for me. Woo, well done guys. Okay, we're going on to a body weight tricep exercise now. So we're working the same muscles, triceps again, but this in my opinion is harder. Feet planted, fingertips facing forwards. Shift the body weight into the arms. Just hover the butt to start off with. As I said, starts off easy, gets harder. Move the feet a little bit away from the butt. Dig the heels in, toes up. You're gonna bend through the triceps and back up again, okay? So you're stopping just short of the mat and back up. And the movement isn't coming through the pelvis here, okay? The movement is coming from the elbows. We're bending to activate those triceps. Tricep dips. Good work, 10 seconds. Nearly there. Woo, well done guys, we are coming down into another set of toe reaches. I want everyone now trying with their weights whether it's level one or level two. Get yourselves ready. Level two, your legs are up. Level one, copy knee, okay? You're sliding just above the knees and back down again. Level two is what you did in the first round. Those legs are up and you're reaching to the sky. You're here. 
using that breathing control. Now take a second to look at your screen. Please don't have your head up like this, guys. Tuck your chin to your chest. Your eye gaze should be by your shins. If your legs are down, your eye gaze should be in between your thighs. Keep pushing for me. Nearly there. Woo, well done guys. You're coming back up now. Four, instead of flies, we're going with rotator cuff like we did before. The arms are out in front of us. We did this about five days ago. This is nasty, okay? We're coming up, core tight. No rib flaring. Twist four times, back down. One, two, three, four, down. One, two, three, four. Now just take a second to look at my ribs and my core, guys. What I don't want to see is this. Okay, rib cage up. Instead, I want that rib cage down. Core tight, butt squeezed. Two, three, four, down. We're over halfway. Down, go back. Just 10 seconds left, don't give up. Down, well done, five seconds. Down, one more rep if you can, come on. Down, amazing. Back into abs, guys, last exercise. So I've actually just changed over timer because for the last exercise, I'm making it a minute to finish up, okay? One minute boat hold would be your little movement in there, okay? Roll back to your biting point, I haven't started yet. Okay, I've started now. Weight is in the hand, one leg up, followed by the other. Nice and open through the chest. We're really gonna burn these abs for one minute only, okay? Hold the chest proud and open. Shoulders are back, shoulder blades are locked in. Core is tight. Okay, single leg stretch. Now at any point, any point at all, if you need to, drop those forearms back behind you. Everyone else, please dig deep for me, we can do it. We're approaching halfway. Last four, three, two, we're halfway one. Hold those legs up, Russian twist. Two, three, four, five, Six, all the way to 20. Eight. Last 10. Fifteen seconds, finish up. Can you straighten the legs out? Mine are shaking, I'm not gonna give up. I am not gonna give up. 10 seconds, we can do it. Chest proud and open. Eight, seven, six, five, dig deep, four, Three, two, woo, and one. Wow, that was a nice little dig deep at the end, guys. I'm so insanely proud of you for making it through day 19. I mean, how incredible does that sound? 19 days down, 11 to go. Good news for you all. I'm hoping you're watching this now through to the end. I'm actually gonna be doing an Instagram Live which is gonna be a Q&A with you guys on Saturday morning at 8 a.m. GMT, okay? So that will be midday here in Dubai. Please work out where it is, wherever you are in the world or what time it is. And that is gonna be a Q&A followed by a real-time workout live with me. And it's an opportunity for you guys to basically talk to me, let me know how you found the program, any comments, any questions that you have on the program. The word nutrition has been flown around so much. People are asking for me to do a nutrition program. If that is something that you are interested in, please tune in on Saturday, 8 a.m. We'll work out together and we'll also develop a plan for after this 30 day program is complete because I know some of you are a little bit nervous about what's to come. I'm not just gonna leave you in the lurch, I promise there will be more coming, just planning in terms of what you guys want. So I shall see you tomorrow for recovery. Yes, <laughs> well done, go have a warm bath, hydrate, eat, and I shall speak to you guys soon. Bye.